in Godot 4.3, this used to be what your grid map would look like. And this might look familiar. So here we just have a regular scene. I'm not, I don't even have anything saved yet. Uh, there's no mesh library. There's no nothing here. This is just what it looks like. And you would find all your functionalities over here on the top where the grid map is. And everything is over here. And this doesn't really work that great sometimes. And it's kind of hard to remember some of this, especially when you're new to it. Now in Godot 4.4, they have changed it a little bit. Now here is my uh, project for Godot 4.4. You can see on the bottom, it says 4.4 dev seven. That is the version we're up to right now. And now there's no mesh library and we'll go through that in just a second. But now you can see that there is a grid map section on the very bottom of Godot where we can see a bunch of things. Now these things might look a little similar to the tile map from 2D and yeah, this essentially works pretty similar in the sense, and we'll go through this in just a second, but let's set up a, a scene that we can actually use our mesh library. So I have one right here, uh, and we can open it and see we have an item, but let's see how we can actually do that. Now, first you're gonna need, obviously, um, some assets. So find something to use. I'm using the KKit Dungeon Remastered. Uh, we'll use a floor tile small. So we can just pop this into our scene here, we can rename this to mesh library, save this. You can save it right here. You can see I already have one, so I'm actually gonna overwrite that one. And we don't actually have to do much. We're just gonna say make local here, pop this out, delete this, save, go to scene, export as mesh library, and we can just merge with this one. We can see we can just merge, we'll go to the main, and now what we can do is simply find our mesh that we just created, so our mesh library, and pop this in to the mesh library. You can see here I have two dirt tiles, and it doesn't really matter uh, how many you have. Uh, I added one from this video, and this was just from outside. Now you can see when I go over my mouse over the scene, there's no dirt tile that pops up, and that's because of what I have selected. But right now I have the selection tool selected. Meaning, if I select something, I can do something to that area. I can fill, okay, so this is the fill uh, icon. I can move things. Well, first I have to select something. I can move things around, which is pretty neat. Uh, so we still have that selected. So let's see what else we can do. We can duplicate. That's pretty neat. What else can we do? We can also delete, which is also probably useful. So let's delete everything. And what else do we have? We also have uh, a race tool, which is probably the same as delete in a sense. Uh, we also have paint, which is the natural uh, icon thing that we used to have back in Godot 4.3. This is very useful as well, obviously, because if you just want to paint on your scene, this will help you do that. And we also have the pick uh, tool. If I had this selected, if I select the pick, this will automatically select the uh, other tile that I just picked, right? So it works just as if uh, we're in Photoshop or something like that. And that's pretty much it. Now, obviously, you have some other few things like cursor rotate, cursor rotate on the Y and Z, I assume. Yeah, we can rotate these things and do those kind of things. So this is essentially the new grid map inside of Godot 4.4. Hopefully this kind of gave you a small overview on how it works. Uh, it's pretty simple, but it is cool to have. It's essentially a new uh, thing that we have inside of Godot that allows us to use grid maps a little nicer because back in uh, Godot 4.3 and before that, Godot used to not be the greatest at designing levels inside of Godot, but this actually helped us quite a bit, I believe. And I hope to actually see some more 3D games in the future because of this. So if you guys like this video, uh, definitely check out my channel. I have a lot of tutorials, uh, 2D and 3D, mostly 2D, but I'm hoping to get out more 3D in the future. So hit that sub button down below and I'll see you guys in the future. Bye-bye for now.